ladies and gentlemen, let's review this Terp pen. But let me plug in my monitor so you have something to look at. I have the Terp pen, the regular one, went to the dispensary, wanted some concentrate for my bachelor weekend, and we, I got sold this baby. And you know, my buddy has one and doesn't use it because it's basically bricked. I had it for about a month using it every single day, not all day, only like, you know, a couple hours at the end of the day, you know, maybe like 10 dabs a, a night total. After a month, I bricked mine and I wasn't very happy about it, even though it was only 30 bucks, which is so crazy compared to the prices of e-rigs. However, that's when I realized the importance of storing it in proper maintenance. Now, listen. Let me just say, this is a wonderful device. You gotta charge it quite a bit. It'll go a long time and give you teeny tiny little dabs like, so like the way I measure my dabs is I hit it until that light blinks. I think it's like maybe 10 seconds or something, but that's like, it's like, okay, that's a dab. So then, you know, when it's running in the past, like basically half of its battery life, you'll have to make that thing blink like three times to hit once. Which, you know, dying battery, but it seems to die real slow and soft. You know, just shut that motherfucker off. Give me them number one top tier hot ass fucking blinkers to the dome. You know, but it's whatever. So it's important to know that this requires a lot of maintenance. They give you a dabbing tool and they give you a, uh, a little like pipe cleaner. But I just, you know, dab it like a straw straight out of there. These are THCA diamonds I just reviewed, by the way from Binoid, and they're pretty good. In fact, I will demonstrate how this beautiful device, now be warned, this is diamonds and saws, it's basically fucking cum in there now. So you're gonna witness a little surprise. Oh, it's so sticky, I need to clean it. Oh God, oh, all right, hold on. The best part is, is I just charged this. Literally, like it was, it's fully fucking charged. And it didn't make me cough. And I cough, I'm a cougher. I don't like carts, even though this Dr. Ganja cart that I'm about to review, really good. Anyway, this is lower temp. It's easy to dose, you just hit it until it blinks. You're good to go. But let me show you how to maintain this because for 30 bucks, like I just took a beautiful hit, dab straight to the dome, baby. Wonderful. It, with no trouble, you know? So anyway, you can take it off. This shit is crazy, but so let me show you how to maintain it. Oh God, it's so sticky. Yeah, I have to clean it every single week, every single week. Because a month basically broke it. All right, I'm just gonna get covered in this fucking shit. So this is the issue. After a week, it starts collecting and clogging. Oh my God, what have I fucking done? I'm so sticky. Okay, so then it's also gonna like leak into here. It's not super tight. So you're gonna get some concentrate in there. It's Thursday, so tomorrow is clean day. So basically what I'm trying to say is everything comes apart and everything, oh fuck me. Everything gets kind of goopy, besides the mouthpiece, but you might as well clean it. Here's the number one piece of advice I would give anybody buying this. First of all, buy it. For 30 bucks, holy shit, it delivers beautiful, easy, clean, low to mid temperature dab skis, all right? That fucker heats up though. When I'm on my third like uh, blinker or whatever, when, to make that thing blink, then it's pretty hot and I might chuckle a little bit there. But anyway, here's the hack. Take everything apart except for this centerpiece, which is that metal core right there. Take everything off while you're doing this, plug it in there. Get yourself a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. It sounds fancy, but everybody probably already has it. It's just rubbing alcohol. Do that 
You know, the manufacturer says don't soak the coil. Fuck them. The coils are like $5 a pop and they'll last you a couple months if you clean them right. So fuck that. Put the coil in a little tub of this, a little vial. I literally fill up a tiny little vial that an old cart came in. Soak the coil in there. And then take a paper towel covered in this, wipe it all around, and then a Q-tip and cover it in that and get every, just basically soak it. Don't drench it because it's obviously a battery, but soak it or drench, no, fuck me, okay. Soak the coil and rub everything else down. Then put it back together, voila, it's new. You do this every single weekend, you're good to go. And you, you can tell it four days, four days and it's already gunking up like crazy and I store it like this and everything. I'm also taking fucking humdingers down there and like my method of consumption is kind of messy. So you could probably mitigate some of that. But anyway, great product, 10 out of 10, especially for the price. I mean, obviously there's better pens than this, but this, this 30 fucking dollars, I mean, come on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the off button, not the camera. 30 fucking dollars. It does require some maintenance, you know, time or two a week, charge it a lot but it'll deliver you awesome, smooth, low to medium temp, easy to dose dabs. Wait till the blinks, oh, you're good to go. Anyway, not sponsored. Oh, I keep fucking looking at that.